everybody. You know, some days you don't need a big production. As far as a card reading, you just want a simple, straight to the point message from spirit. A little bit of guidance to start your day out with, or maybe to end your day with. And that's what this pick a card is. These are short and sweet cards from the Wild Offering Oracle. There are going to be 10 to choose from, and let me just say that this particular deck does have the slant toward God as the higher power. If you're not a person that believes in God, then please just substitute whatever word resonates with you. Universe. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure there are a million options, and I'm not aware of them all, but I know that for some people that may be somewhat off-putting, and so I wanted to tell you now that the cards do refer to God often from what I've seen so far. If you chose card one, your card is doubt. Offering all to the divine doesn't mean negativity never arises. But you can say, free me from this prison of doubt. I cast this burden to you. Show me your will and restore me to faith and confidence. Card two, your card is positivity. If you can find even one thing to be grateful for, it will restore you to the light. Please, dear God, let me always feel gratitude for something, even a tiny thing, in even the hardest situations. Card three, your card is companionship. When you fully bless and embrace your aloneness, you're ready for the ones who are meant to be with you. May I welcome this solitude, knowing it will open the way for all healthy relationships. Your card, number four, is courage. Divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it, don't worry, all will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear Divine, may I feel your courage and your will. Card 5. Your card is Relationship. I call in the infinite power of love to take over this union in every way. May it now fully belong to the Divine. Let it unfold in the perfect way for each of us. I needn't fear letting go of control. My needs are always abundantly met. Card 6. Your card is Aging. I am one with unlimited love, beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the Divine Shakti. Number 7. Your card is True Love. Your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner, but this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. Number eight, your card is work. I'm now available to receive all who can benefit from my work. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. Number nine, your card is perfectionism. Permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. 
free me from the prison of perfectionism. And number 10, your card is self-sufficiency. The ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God. It doesn't mean hiding in a cave and saying, I don't need people. Instead, it's saying, God is my source, and I am willing to receive all the help, love, and support that wants to come. And that's it for your cards. If you enjoyed this quick and efficient way of having a card pull, I'd appreciate a thumbs up on the video or a comment. If you'd like to subscribe, there's a little pink square at the bottom right. I appreciate you all very much. Take care of yourselves.